What's up, witches? It's October. <laughs> and all month, I have wanted to do one specific thing. I've wanted to do Halloween-themed videos. Um, like, I've wanted to play Fortnite wearing Halloween skins, and I've wanted to play The Sims 4 wearing, uh... Like, my, have my sims dressed like they're going out to trick-or-treat and have the house decorated in, like, fall and Halloween stuff. And I just haven't been doing it. I guess I've been procrastinating. Um, going through some stuff right now. But, I decided that it's Friday the 13th. I'm gonna get on Fortnite and I'm gonna play. So, I'm wearing really the only... Skin I have that's like Halloween themed. I got it. Uh, I think honestly about three years ago. I was trying to think because this is the first Halloween in the house I'm currently in that we've had internet. The last two years in a row, the last two Halloweens, I did not have internet here at all. Didn't have internet in this house for like two years. So let's go play some Team Rumble. I completely forgot that it was Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th are hilarious because I love watching everybody be all paranoid about it. Like, guys, nothing's gonna happen, okay? It's like believing that if you walk under a ladder, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen if you believe it is. The worst that's gonna happen, honestly, somebody's gonna drop something on your head and it's probably not gonna hurt that much. Because most ladders aren't that tall. That most ladders that people use. Or believing that, you know, if a black cat crosses your path, it's gonna bring you bad luck. Like if you're driving in a car and you see one dart across the road, you're gonna have a wreck or something. Yeah, probably. If you're not paying the fuck attention. Damn. But for now, no. I'm... I'm just, I love Friday the 13th, especially when they occur in October, because then all the weirdos come out, and by weirdos I mean people like me who enjoy watching horror movies for no reason at all. We just get in a mood, and that's what we want to do all day. Unfortunately, I can't do that all day, nor can I play this game all day, because sadly I'm an adult, which means I have to go adult and do the dishes later. Side note gonna be moving soon. I'm not sure how soon. I don't exactly know where we're going, but I hope that wherever we end up has a dishwasher. I, I know it's gonna bring up the freaking electric bill. I don't give a shit. I hate doing dishes by hand. I absolutely hate it. I could be doing so much other shit than dishes by hand. Geronimo! Oh. That's right, this skin doesn't have a freaking falling animation that goes with it. <sighs> hey, people who play this on PC, do y'all mod the game? Like, what Sims 4 does? Can, can y'all do that? Will you stop? I like your outfit. <laughs> Lady, you better knock it off. Did she really just jack everything? Fuck you. Never make that noise again. Please, thank you. Uh, there's the damn door. No. You hit- oh! Actually, that's useful. Hmm. Alright. I usually don't carry health around uh, in Team Rumble anyway, cause like, what's the damn point? If I die, I'm just gonna lose a little bit of ammo, and then I'll come back full health. I don't know where you're going. Alright, let's... 
Makes you feel any better. I don't know where I'm going either. I'm just going this direction. Dude, are you really shooting at your own teammate? Are you that stupid? Or just that much of an ass? Because if you are, you know, fuck off. It's ridiculous. Don't shoot at your teammates. Y'all need to learn to recognize when somebody is your own teammate. The only time I do it is if I've opened a drop or something and some asshole friendly is what we call them. Me and my friends. Some asshole just runs up and freaking steals everything out of it. Like, excuse you. I opened it. I should get first dips. You little bitch. Whee! Sorry about that. If you, if you hear me, like, blowing on something, it's literally... This house has a fucking hand crawl. It's not even the house, it's just... We live out of city limits, technically. Or, like, barely inside of it. We're outside of it. Seriously? Nice shot. Oh, damn. When people do that. I really do. That's actually one of my pet peeves in this game. I don't have very many with this game. I really don't. But when people manage to shoot and kill me while I'm in the air, I, I that kind of triggers me. Because, like, I can't do that shit. Why should you be able to? They're just good at aiming. Oh. It. Could you... Could you... No. Nope. Stop moving. Okay, I'm gonna swap the stake thing for that. Where am I? Is that a key? There's a key. Oh, I want it, but I'm also scared. Even better give. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was gonna break the first time. Where am I? Ah! I don't know how I pulled that off, but okay. Well, someone has been here. But they missed that. What? I hear kabooms and I don't like it. <sighs> Will you mantle Jesus? Helen. 
Even better. Open. Give. I know. I hurt myself. But I figured that would happen. Hey, buddy. What you shooting at over here? This is a weird building. Hey! Hey! What the hell? Oh my god. You know, there's actually been times in Team Rumble where I went, like, about this might not seem like that long but you know in team rumble it can be but i'd go like five minutes without being shot at what the fuck son of a bitch stop it what the fuck is wrong with you there's got to be forty thousand other people running around me and you're being a dick and targeting me what the hell all right that's it whoever that is i'm gonna kill you i don't like people targeting me repeatedly that is disrespectful well, not really, but it's rude. There's absolutely no le uh, need for it. Tried three fucking times to get over here. Damn! Is that hard? No, it wasn't. Is that idiot? They had to have been up there, right? Oh shit! No, oh, that person left. Yeah, they had to have been up there, and now they're not. Which honestly does make me a little mad. Because now they could be anywhere. I remember their name kind of though. <laughs> Miss me! Okay, there's one over there I can go get. Maybe. I can try to go get. Let me rephrase that. What? Hey! There's no goddamn way! Oh my god. You know what? Stalker. Stop! Stupid bitch! Fucker! Do you mind? Huh. <sighs> no, they don't mind. That's why the fuck can do it. Anywho. Do I know where I'm going? No, not even looking at my mini map. I 
I'll do it. Let me out. I didn't have to shoot anybody with this. No! Did you hear the victory of music? <laughs> no! Oh my god, that's so awesome. Ugh, starting to get hungry again. Gonna have to pick something to eat in, after a little while. And sometimes we have to go to the food bank, you know, just to get a little extra to tide us over for a week or so till we get our food stamps. And I asked my husband about going because, you know, we're. We're not like super low on food, but we're low enough that I would like to see what we could get. And he said he was trying to avoid going because, you know, we're going to be moving uh, soon. And he didn't want to have to try to take all the food over there. Like, we're going to take the canned stuff and the dry goods, but he didn't want to have perishables to take. And I, <clears throat> I think this was right before we got a phone call from the landlord saying the signing date for the new people who are going to own this property has been pushed back by like two weeks so now instead of having to move in the middle of November we have till the end of November and my husband wants to at the end of this month at the end of October he wants to start moving stuff over to the new place that way when we actually have to leave this place um, you know we can just pack up what little bit we have here and take it over there I know I said earlier I'm not sure where we're going because I don't. We found a place that we're going to apply to live in. It's a duplex. There, there. It's a whole bunch of them, but we're applying to live in one. <coughs> so hopefully we get it, cause like where we live, it's about twenty to thirty minutes from here, give or take. And when we told my the landlord, who happens to be my dad, how far away it was, he got a little miffed that we were moving that far. And I'm just thinking, first of all, we told you we were not staying in Texas forever. We're going to move at the earliest opportunity that we're able to. We're going to move to Grand Junction, Colorado. That's where we want to move to. And my husband's like, well, we tried searching, you know, here and the town where my husband works for a place to go. But there's nothing that we can afford rent-wise around here. Like, everything is, you know, $900 and up. And I'm not trying to be rude, but I think anyone who charges $900 for a two-bedroom, one-bath is either an idiot or an asshole or both. You know, if I could afford 900 a month, I would try to find, like, you know, a four-bedroom or something. Not a two-bedroom. I've also seen, and this is in usually in cities, I've seen one-bedroom, one-bath uh, apartments for, like, $1,000 a month or higher. And I'm like... You're on crack, you're insane. Ugh.
see if I can get this. I I mean, yeah, that might be reasonable for some people, you know, the the price. But still, like, just I'm one of those people that can't afford things like that. And <clears throat> also, mind you, I have seen two bedroom, one baths. I'm not exaggerating. I've seen two bedroom, one baths for like. Oh, what was that one? I saw one. I think it was like $1,200 a month. Or it might have been a two bedroom, two bath, but still. One extra bathroom does not constitute, like, that much money. Well, that just launched me far enough to get into the circle. I don't know what you're doing, wacko. Like, some of them are just, they're insanely expensive. Like, if I could afford three grand a month for rent, I would not be renting. I honestly would not. You better fucking stop, asshat. Knock it off. Fuck off, find your business. my truck. You do not jump on somebody like that. <laughs> really? There's two people here and I'm the one that dies. <laughs> it's not surprising at all. That's the story of my life. Ugh. Where am I? Why do you have to put me all the way over here? On the other side of the map? Marshmallow, will you stop toasting everything? Somebody's gonna- yep, see? See what you did? Sir? Do you see what you did? Really? Well, that's... I was supposed to jump. That's... that's gotta be the right thing. Cause this controller should be fine. It can't be like the last time. Mantle! I'm pressing the button. Why are you not mantling?
Okay, maybe I'll try to get the thing. I was gonna say if I could find it, but it's literally right here. Well, there he goes. You know, I can't help but wonder, what does this shield taste like? I mean, my friend pointed out last night that it looks like it would taste like, uh, It looks like it would taste like Baja Blast, and, you know, what? I, I agree. It looks like it would taste like Baja Blast. <coughs> Can you... why are you like this? I'll notice the difference. I'm totally kidding. Ooh. Really? Don't feel bad, I also can't run past a two inch step. Might be a problem. where I don't like the word shotgunned because I keep getting killed with shotguns. You better stop! Holy shit, I haven't landed! Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't! I landed and took two steps! Oh my god, are you guys... Did y'all take asshole pills this morning? Fucking bitch! That's it! I'm so sick of the damn shotguns. I really am. I'm actually getting to where I don't like shotguns in this game. Because if I try to use it to kill somebody, I lose. But if somebody else tries to use it to kill me, I lose. Happened, but okay. All 
All right then. I don't want to move. Oh my goodness. What? No. I was looking at my phone and it was like, oh, you want to go into this app? No, I really don't. But, you know, thanks for trying to open it anyway. Uh. I will play no more than six rounds and then I've got to go do dishes. Uh. Normally I'd just play till I didn't feel like playing anymore, but I'm limiting myself to maximum six of these. Because I need to do, I need to get the majority of the dishes done. Ugh. And then I have to go get my son from the bus stop later, so. You know, I want to be able to play some Sims without him bugging me every five seconds. Man, I'm gonna need another drink. <laughs> it's loading. Perfect time for me to. Figure out how many sodas we got left. It's two. Alright, well, I was gonna drink this Powerade anyway. <laughs> we think my son. Um, our son, actually, my husband and I, I think our son has ADHD. One of the telltale signs of ADHD is if they get sugar or caffeine, um, it can make them, like, do the opposite of hyper. It can make them really sleepy. Or, in like in the case of my son, it can make them extremely hyper and they, like, flat out will not listen to you no matter what you're saying. They just won't do it. Unless they want to. Like anytime my son has sugar, if he's at school, he just won't listen to his teacher. He gets crazy. He'll like run around and make adults chase him and tell them no and I know some of y'all are probably gonna say that sounds more like a discipline problem. It's really not. Okay, we've been working with him since he was three on this, and he... He's just a little turd. But we love him.
those things making that noise? Weird. have to be this specific. thing is this way, so let's go this way. Ugh. So, I want you guys to comment down below, do you prefer to play by yourself in games like this, or with friends? I actually prefer playing with friends. I mean, by yourself is nice, but you know. I do prefer playing with friends. It's easier to not die because you got people to watch your back and help you out. But, at the same time, like, if you're actually gonna play with me on any mode in this game, you need to have a mic. Need to have a mic, and I honestly prefer people who are okay with cussing, and... Also, people who... Oh, lost my train. <laughs> Like, you're okay with cussing, and you need to be... I'm sorry if this next part hurts your feelings, but you need to be 18 or older. Because, like, even if you're 15 and really good at this game, and you cuss and your parents don't care, or you say they don't... You know, I don't want your mom and dad coming up in here and getting pissy because of how I'm talking. on the shield, bro.
Seriously? I'm gonna go over here now. Oh my lord. The mantling. Insanity? Got him. I'm gonna pay for that. <sighs> oh my god, don't do that. Don't do that. Better stop. Hey! The hell? What the hell? 
Oh my god! You know, this would be so much easier if I could actually tell where the shooting is coming from. I will take myself down to take you down. That's actually one of my favorite ways to go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Um, I will post this video hopefully today, but it, it might not be till tomorrow. Uh, either way, I hope you enjoy Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed this video, but I at least hope you enjoy Fortnite. Um, I will be posting on... I can't think of which... Oh. Well, this will be posted on YouTube. So, I will go in the comments and I will post my gamer tag for Fortnite in the comments. So that if you are 18 or older and you don't mind cussing and you like horror movies and you like Halloween and... You know, some other stuff. We'll figure it out. You like video games possibly books, then, you know, maybe we can hang out and play the game. Now, I don't play all the time, like I said, because I do have a kid. I do have animals to take care of. I do have household chores, and I'm in the middle of moving, so this is kind of a wacky time to expect me to play the game all the time. So, don't expect that, but, you know, I'll post this, and I'll have my gamer tag in the comments, and you can come uh, send me a friend request. Alright. Bye!